Hey guys, what's up? Well, it's been a while since I last posted a Java tutorial, so in this video today, I'm gonna talk about why do we need, why do we use abstract classes. So basically, this is a part one, and in this part one, I'm gonna deal with the memory management in Java. So basically, if you are fine, and if you, uh, if you can get along with the memory management topic in Java, I will recommend you to skip this video and go to the next one. Well, the link to my next video is given in the description bar, so you don't need to look at this video. I mean, you can uh, seriously skip this video if you're good with Java. So, basically, uh, let me just start with this part one. So, I have made three classes: this cat, bear, and dog. So, basically, I love dogs, so I'm gonna make it the main class. So, let me just start public static void main and string args oh, no 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 string me as usual yeah okay so this is the main class and this is uh, the cat class so let me just quickly make uh, a method void y and let me just write sys out control space and in that y do we have exams? Basically, my exams are going on. It's kind of frustrating, so I'm just asking where the hell do we have exams? And in there, uh, I'm gonna make void answer. And in that, sys out control space, and because you, oops, because you are a student okay okay I know that okay okay so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an object for class cat and that's gonna be class object is equals new cat Ta -da. okay so in this uh, let me just now call the y method and object.y Cool. So uh, notice that there's a star in over here in the bear class. So let, let me just run it, okay? And uh, here it is. Why do we have exams at capital issue? Okay. So basically, uh, as you see that there's no more stars. So basically, Java has compiled all the three classes, and uh, the first thing I want to say is, after it compiles the classes, it doesn't allocate any memory to the particular class. It just reads it and checks all the syntaxes okay and all that shit. So it doesn't allocate any memory to any particular class during the compilation. After uh, I declared this, uh, I wrote this line and I made an object for the class cat. That's when Java made. Uh, allocated some memory to the class cat. Now say uh, I have made an object for the class bear. So basically Java has not allocated any memory to the bear class. It is just uh, written over here. All it has made allocated is it has allocated memory for class cat. And for main it is static so you can directly some to this class okay uh, so to this method I'm so sorry okay so basically uh, when Java allocated the memory for the class can it allocated the memory for this whole thing that means in that memory it includes the allocation for this memory allocation for this method that is the Y method so basically this that's it I mean in this video this is what I want to say is the memory management of how Java actually, I mean, allocates the memory for some particular program. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about why do we use the abstract classes. So, oh, so so so. The link for the next video is given in the description bar. Hit it and go to the next video. Well, thank you for watching this. Subscribe for more or something like that.